Okay guys, so I've been waiting for four or five months straight for this exact moment for the stores to open up again because I want me some yo-yo fresh tea. So because I waited so long, I'm going to grab one, so let's go inside. If you ever visit the Netherlands, for any YouTuber out there or for any viewer out there, if you come to the Netherlands, make sure to go to a yo-yo tea bar because it's just delicious. This one is Earl Grey tea flavor with passion fruit. It is just a taro milk. So, so today I wanted to talk about a topic I want to talk about for a while now. But before I go into the topic, let me just grab my phone because you guys left some interesting comments on the previous videos and I really like that. I really like input from you guys so I can better my videos so let me pull up my phone let me look up some comments so pull up my phone and look at the comments you guys left because you guys left interesting comments and I got a lot out of these comments so so the first comment and sorry if I butcher your name the first comment and he's not the only one who commented it but he's one that stuck out to me so Andrew Warner and I know him from Twitter so. and he commented notice that I don't look in the lens I instead look at the LCD screen. I 100% agree with it because I always get distracted by myself moving around my hands and I then automatically look at the LCD screen. I just try not to look at the LCD screen right now but it's just too, it's just too difficult for me. But I will look more into the lens. I will be watching you guys eye to eye. But that was a nice comment. It's a really great, great tip because I was aware of it but I struggled with it. Try to not look in the LCD screen. So another comment was two videos ago and I talked about the Canon RF 15 to 35 millimeter something that distracted people and a close friend of mine who watched the video he was also saying this microphone in the frame it was too distracting they couldn't focus on what I was saying in the next videos or the next camera talk videos or the next setup videos I will have the microphone out of frame So excuse me but the last comment wasn't a question or it wasn't a tip but it was a question I get this question a lot and I get this question more often in real life than on social media but the question was how did I came up with the name beer and to be honest I didn't came up with it I give credit where credit is due how it happened was I was chilling out with a friend of mine before I started my Instagram and my YouTube and things like that we were hanging out at my place I think we were watching something like MTV or something like that we were talking back and forth and I was like yo bro we need some nicknames so some dope nicknames for our group of friends and he was like yeah man we came up with some names so one of our friends is Ocha one of our friends is Jones the guy who the guy who came up with my name and eventually he was like yo bro I know a really dope name and I was like yo tell me tell me and he was like your name is beer process the information I was thinking about the name and I was like that's a freaking dope name freaking dope name it's not the most exciting story it's not the most adventurous story that's how it happened so what I want to talk about was how to tell better stories within your vlogs especially vlogs because I make a lot of vlogs I think I have right now I have seven or eight vlogs now. so I wanted to talk about how to tell better stories because stories are the element of your video the element of your tutorial of, of your vlog of your whatever else video you are doing if you don't have a story if you don't have a beginning middle and end I think your story lacks its soul it lacks its core let's dive in deeper and let's see what is the root of the problem what what's the reason why people like myself or other people aren't really good at storytelling okay so how to tell better stories in your vlog I think the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to making a mistake when you are telling a story is summing up everything when you are summing up the things you are doing which are obvious because you're showing it. for example so I'm now riding my longboard next to this river okay guys so right now I am in front of a church and I'm just waiting for a friend so right now I am longboarding past the river 
which is beautiful when you are doing something and you are just telling the audience that you are doing the exact same thing you are showing that you are doing that's unnecessary that is just stating the obvious I believe having a topic in your vlog so you can do what whatever you want to do in your vlog but having a general topic of the vlog for example this vlog is about how to tell better stories in your vlog just showing you guys what I'm doing today and talking to you guys about this story is already much better than just stating what I'm doing so I hope it makes sense and if it doesn't leave a comment down below and tell me it didn't make any sense but don't sum up your vlogs just try to have a topic in every single vlog because it will help you out tremendously something I want to mention was I think it's a misconception because when I started out with vlogging a friend of mine told me I had to vlog she told me I needed to make vlogs and the thing I always told her was I don't have a cool life I don't do dope things you know now being 12 videos later I believe that you don't need cool life you don't need to do every single dope thing in the world I'm saying that because you can make your vlogs pretty pretty entertaining with a cool story that's why I say try to make every single vlog about a topic or surrounding a topic because if you can talk about it and if you can express it in a good way it's tied together pretty well I believe that those type of vlogs are the most entertaining and the most exciting vlogs let me know what you think about that we have 15 minutes left before I go to a friend the friend asked me before I was filming tag along with him because he has a client shoot for today so I'm bringing you guys with me so yeah let's go You see it one and a half meter distance. So I arrived at the wine store, but my buddy, his gig is over here, but my buddy isn't even here yet. So I suppose we are here too early, but that's okay. We are going to enjoy ourselves because this place is really dope. So let me show you guys around. Let's go. Let me explain to you guys what I think is another way how you, you can better your storytelling within a vlog. I think the we can use which is speak less, show more. And for example, when I'm shooting a vlog, I tend to over explain things. I tend to explain what the place looks like, but I feel like you, you take away a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling. A good quote for that is, visuals have the power to extract emotions and feelings within you guys, within an audience from your video from your vlog so I believe that if you show more by showing more I mean show the place in terms of making a b-roll small sections like this I think like over explaining is something that can backfire and I do it myself I'm a victim of it that is a thing I think and believe you can talk less show more if you show more in your vlog instead of over explaining I think basically help your storytelling within your video and I think if you over explain it you take away those feelings you take away those emotions and I'm victim of it myself so I'm trying to better it so I hope you guys better it too we are growing together as a community so yeah I think I think that's the biggest thing for me at least that's holding me back from becoming a better storyteller in my vlog okay so I'm not a wine fan but I have to say the wine bottles look really really great like as I said I'm not a wine drinker but it looks really or this one for example this one looks amazing or this one I love black this one as well we got him ladies and gentlemen, we got him, we got him. Hey man. How are you doing bro? I'm doing very good man. Yeah? Today I'm uh, a shoot. 
Uh, sorry for my English, it's very bad. To be very honest. <laughs> it's all okay, bro. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, man, I have to shoot downstairs. In the basement of the restaurant, they're, they're very nice wine over there. And they asked me to do a couple of nice shots. They have very nice lighting over there. And we're gonna rock that shit, man. Yeah, man. So I rambled enough, so I think I'm going to show this place to you guys. Because this place is really big. I have never went into a wine store before, so I don't know if it's something typical. But I have to say, it's decorated perfectly so let me show you guys around so what type of video are you making right now uh, i'm making actually photos just uh, just stills for today to share with you some some nice some information you're sitting on the floor you're seeing very nice lighting and in the back it's very dark so i put my products there on the uh, trigger and so as you can see you can follow the leading lines in your shot towards the back and because they're very light you can create a very dramatic uh, effect in your photos it's very nice dope dope, <laughs> dope right? the guy did his homework he knows yeah, what he's man. doing <laughs> i will put the photo on the screen right now so you guys can see how the photo looks but it looks really great Okay, bro, how did it go? It did go very well, man. Uh, even better than, than I expected. It was a very dark room inside. Downstairs um, in the basement, it was very dark. So I created a very dope backlight. Already got some leading lines, like the, the highlights of the basement itself. I just put a light in the back of the basement, hit a shot. It looks like this. It go very well. <laughs> I think so too. It went pretty well. I saw the photos and the photos weren't even edited and they were like they were crazy so I think this is a good way to stop the vlog and we talked about storytelling I'm going to make a second part of this video how to tell a better story in your vlog part 2 will be coming in the future I don't know when because it's a really broad topic and there are a lot of ways you can improve your storytelling and I hope you guys got something out of it yeah I see you guys in the next video see ya